This week on Worldwide Gaming. We check out the new Vita hardware. Our top 10 of TGS. We interview the guys at Titanfall. And we take you on a tour of the show floor. Hello and welcome to Worldwide Gaming. I'm your host Ryan. I'm John. I'm Vince. And today we have a special Japan episode. Yeah. TGS 2013, which we just came back from. Oh, uh, it's awesome. Vince, what's on your shirt? Uh, well, if you guys remember, we went to the Capcom booth and the Xbox Xbox booth and PlayStation, and we got the press passes so we could take photos and stuff and not get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you keep them as the kind of like little memento. <laughs> yeah, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> you mean something, Vince. It means you mean something. I know, right? I feel so special. Um, there's going to be a lot of footage, not only from TGS, but also from around TGS, all the kind of stuff we did um, that was and wasn't to do with games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, there was actually a keynote at uh, TGS, a PlayStation keynote, that me and you, John, uh, we talked about, so why don't we go to that now? So right here at TGS, uh, we saw the first part of the PlayStation 4 keynote speech. Uh, part 2 is, as we speak, going on. Um, in, the, in the first part, there was a lot of talk about the, uh, the Vita TV um, and all the kind of connectivity between you know, playing something on your PS4 and then like going to, going to school and like playing with your school friends on your PS4 or something like that. Um, <laughs> Does that interest you? Is that like something that you would take take advantage of? Um, I don't suppose I would, given I graduated high school a couple of years ago now. That being, uh, apart from that fact. No, yeah. Okay, apart from that fact. Um, that being said, I like maybe in, I don't know how it works here in Japan, but honestly, I couldn't see that happening in Australia. First of all, our internet is rubbish, right? It's just we're not going to get the download speed. Even Sony Sony themselves have said that uh, it's best to use the remote play feature on your Vita within your own home network where your PlayStation 4 and your PlayStation Vita are running through the same Wi-Fi network and not across the internet because you will get lag issues. Now Japan has fantastic internet as that we've experienced over the last couple of days of being here, right? And if they're saying that you're going to get lag on their internet, right? It's going to be robot like robot chop time. Nice dance though. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I, I was going for the Peter Garrett. Uh, um but yeah, it's just it's just ridiculous. So I, I don't think that's ever going to work. Not to mention schools will insta ban it as well. Um, they also showed like a kind of app for what was it Android and uh, iPhone? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like think of like a social media for PS4. It like shows all your friends. You can um, send the request to play games. Um, you can like post stuff to them, like messages and stuff. Um, I feel like that kind of fad is over. Do people actually want to? to do that kind of thing on their smartphone is a second screen experience like still gonna still gonna happen i don't think they're going after a second screen experience so much as they're going for more of a social experience so what what they're trying to do is based on what i saw anyway is uh they're trying to get uh more casual gamers more involved in the gaming community so instead of them being you know uh like some of the guys uh in in like behind the scenes they're instead of saying, oh, no, 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 I only play Candy Crush or I only play Farmville or things like that. Um, they, they, yeah, they're just going for more, trying to get those people more involved in the community. Um, speaking with the app as well, they had um, some little, like, demo where uh, a lot of little characters on the screen, like, running around and, like, um, you know, he was waving, waving, like, all the characters and they would, like, fly off and... <laughs> Could flick them cool. and hit the screen. That was actually really cool. Like I'd actually really want to get that. And also on the on the phone, he like drew like little mm. objects and stuff, and the objects would appear in the game afterwards. Like yep. stuff like that's kind of cool. But like you can definitely tell they're trying to get. They, they already know they've got the um the, the hardcore the hardcore audience. They're just trying to get the casuals now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. No, that's it. Um, that being said, though, I don't know about it being on a smartphone, but definitely for a tablet, something like that would just take off. All right, just quickly, they said they wanted to get 500 million units. Um, yes, I know that, that's going to happen. Good luck to them. Yeah, right. Honestly, like, you, you know, I mean, anybody can anybody can say any number they want. Oh, we want to sell 1 billion units. We want to conquer the world. Good luck to them. Honestly, more power to them. All right. Strong winds and not-so-friendly skies approach with Crimson Dragon releasing on November 22nd for Xbox One. Fine weather and clear skies ahead as Forza Motorsport 5 releases on November 22nd for Xbox One.
Cloudy skies clearing later in the day with Switch Galaxy Ultra for PlayStation 4 and Vita due to release next month. G'day everyone, John McLeish here. We're just down here at the Sony booth at the moment and we're looking at the Vita TV. Now this is newly announced product. Uh, apparently what it's going to allow you to do is play, essentially play PlayStation Vita games on a big screen TV using a DualShock 4 controller. Um, it's looking fantastic. This is the product right here. It's very small, right? I thought it was going to be a lot chunkier than this. It looks to be about half the size of a PlayStation Vita because it doesn't contain a screen, right? And for those of you worried about definition quality, have a look at the ports on the side here. We've got a standard memory card port, so you can probably save your games through to this. Uh, we've also got a USB port and a HDMI port, so that'll give you full 1080p output from your screen to your big screen TV. We've also got an Ethernet port here for all that online play. It also meet, which is a very big advantage, because primarily PlayStation Vita games all run through either Wi-Fi or 3G internet, which is very, very slow. With the Ethernet port, lag will go down, so especially, very important for games like Killzone Mercenary. Um, it'll probably make games like Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified playable. Fantastic stuff. If we just look at the top of the unit now, up up the top here, we've got a what what seems to be a, play, a PS Vita game card port. So you don't even really need a Vita to experience this product. If you're if you're new to the whole portable gaming scene, you're not really sure about it. You kind of just want to dip your toes into the water, have a go at this, buy a couple of cartridges. In fact, you can just keep them at home for the kids. Really, take your Vita out and you know do whatever you want. Uh, it's looking awesome, very small, very compact. I highly recommend it. Here at TGS 2013, we've uh, been looking at the PS4 booths, one of the, the bigger and more brighter and definitely more loud booths that are here. Oh, absolutely. Um, Vince, you checked out Gran Turismo 6, um, so why don't, you, why don't you tell me a bit about Gran Turismo 6? Uh, well, it's just like every other Gran Turismo game, but um, this one... In a good way or a bad way? Well, uh, I'd say a bad way because this one seemed ridiculously like Gran Turismo 5. Like it's not released yet, which I understand that. But um, I was driving and there was no clutch with the simulator they gave me, and I'm like, all right, stuff. I'll just go auto. Uh, You've been spoiled, have you? Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it looks exactly the same as Gran Turismo 5, and to me, it didn't speak anything special. But um, it's not out yet, so I'll just I'll just kind of leave it at that. All right. Um, what are the differences from 5 to 6? Because we have played a lot of 5 in the office. Yeah. Will this be like something that we're going to be like doing, you know, leaderboard and high scores and like kind of that kind of stuff? Or? Um, I really wouldn't see us not doing that. But at the same time, there's like no difference whatsoever. Right. Except we'll have to get a new simulator and that'd be probably pointless because the one we've got is absolutely perfect. Yeah. But um, yeah, I wouldn't... Personally, I wouldn't go out and get Gran Turismo 6 yet. I keep saying that. But um, we've just got to wait and see, really. All right. Um, you were doing Beyond Two Souls, what the hell is that? Yes, I was playing Beyond Two Souls, aka the game that actually does have Ellen Page, not like that fake one, The Last of Us. Oh, that's with um, William Defoe as well? Yes. Yes, all right, that's all I know. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Um, it's pretty much, it plays a lot like Heavy Rain, which is a very cinematic game where you have to do like, kind of like shaky actions and like, it'll say, hold the X button, you hold the X button, and then you like, kick someone off a train. Um, okay. Uh, so, I was playing that. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, it's not a very good looking game. Um, I was talking with our producer about this, and some of the PS3 games that are being shown at the moment, they look great. Yeah, and some of them, look really good. they look better than some of the, the lesser good looking PS4 games, yeah. which is weird. Uh, have you found that at all? Yeah, uh, it, like I said, Gran Turismo 6, it's a PlayStation 4 game, it looks all, probably a little bit worse than Gran Turismo 5, yeah. to be honest. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, at the moment, I'm I'm kind of on the edge of Beyond Two Souls because it's too it's too like quick time event kind of driven and like you're shaking your controller. But um, I don't know, maybe I spend a bit more time with it. Um, and it's not released obviously yeah, yet, well, like a lot of this kind of stuff yeah. is. So um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see.